being a well, I can't just record the order. Right, Special call meeting on June the 14th, 2021 at 4 p.m. Sam, would you lead us in a prayer and place the flag? Most gracious of heaven and Father, Lord, we just ask that you be with us today on a special call and help us make the decisions that are pleasing to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. I'll, I'll look at the cup. <laughs> <laughs> and pick one. Okay. Uh, hopefully very quickly. And yes. up in a bank account. Explain that. Um. The new grant money we're getting for um, utility help for people, um, Audubon is going to administer it, but it has to go through us and it has to be in a separate bank account. So we have to open up another one. How much is it, do you know? Uh, 200000 but so moved over one. I so really look at on that that we know is that is that is that gonna be income based or is it kinda of, no? No, it has to be you have to relate it to COVID nineteen. Well you like have losing a job a, or something, not a, Yeah, something yeah. like and that. The, and the utility companies has a big role in it. Yeah. One thing they won't do in case anybody asked you, I thought it was crazy, but I guess the middle of this month is when the utilities are allowed to start cutting people off. So they will have a disconnect and a reconnect fee. This money cannot be used for that. It's not available to do I one. So people that get cut off in June have to come up with the reconnect money. Okay, I have a motion by Larry Camp. And second. Second by Sam Small to open a new bank account to uh, facilitate the uh, uh, the grant for the utility reconnect. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Poe black sign. Uh, that is uh, done. Um, <coughs> CDBG was the term I was trying to put in that. If you will add that to the minute. I've got it. Uh, next we have OC DeLong and uh, Jody. Uh, you're up. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, the drive-in 33 since Luke is here. Um, so you guys know where the drive-in is. Uh, Luke is requesting and has been approved to the seat aboard for $100,000 for the purchase of a projector and the containers that will make up the screen he, uh, and building and grounds repairs and the installation of the projector. The screen containers are $20,000 each. He needs eight more, and the projector is $60,000 with the download of the software. So all totaled, it's $100,000. The term of the loan proposed would be, it says 15 years here. That's wrong. We changed it to 10 years. Um, I think that's added in here. So uh, that he would be able to space it out and pay the loan back uh, after he gets it going and starts making money. Of course, it would be 75% of the prime rate. Uh, the jobs created would be three to four seasonal. And the total projected cost of the project is $220,000. He got $25,000 for the reopening of Cinema 33, which will help to fund the operations of the drive-in theater. That came from Brad. We do have a commitment letter from them. He's requesting from us the, the full $100,000. He also says that he had been pre-approved for the SVOG of $100,000 for Cinema 33, and he put in $33,000 of his own money to pour the concrete and buy the first two shipping containers. The collateral will be the projector valued at 70, I'm sorry, $70,000 with the software installed and the shipping containers that make up the screen valued at $2,500 each. We'll take a first on the projector and the screen, uh, the containers for the screen, and a second on the drive-in property to, uh, I think it's First Kentucky. First United. First United. Uh, I'll make a motion. Uh, the property. Accept. No. It's five acres on the property. Five and a half. Who said, Joe seconded it. May I ask for a clarification? Motion. How much were the shipping containers? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. No. 20,000 total, yeah. 2,500. Okay, that, that's what I wanted to do. Like, I, I was like, 20,000. I was like, shipping containers. Jeez. And, and uh, I will
he uh, Luke uh, had one with us once before and, really, and paid it off like a champ. Early and that is in the strengths of the loan. It's one of our first loans. Like yeah, one of the first ones. He's paid off both the Oceda loan and the grad loan early. Um, that was before, obviously, Cinema 33 was shut down. So, um, you know, this is a, a big economic impact for our community. It's an attraction. There's a high demand for it to be reopened. And uh, for those reasons, as well as the positives that are listed on the second page, uh, the OCDA board recommends this loan as a help to Ohio County and to Mr. Burton. Yeah, I'm, I'm for it. And uh, I'm not going to tell the whole story, but that's where I went on my very first date. Don't tell that story. I won't. I don't want to I wasn't going to vote for it. <laughs> now it's condemned. Cam? Uh, yeah, a little more discussion before we move on. Uh, uh, first of all, I, you know how I feel about second mortgages, but, but it looks like it's got enough property and stuff there even on the second mortgage to where the county would, uh, would be in good shape if something was, some, if, it, if Luke was to default or whatever. And uh, I guess my second question is, uh, from the time you initiate getting the screens and the projector and everything, uh, what's the timetable before you start making your first payment? Well, if you don't like, I can make them 30 days out from the day you initiate if you'd like to start them in. That's he fine. can open 30 yeah. to 60 days out depending on the shipping of the containers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The containers and when they get there will be the... Yeah, I wouldn't question 30 or 60 days. I just want yeah. to know what, what kind of... Okay. Yeah, we'll set up because... Because of the delivery and the shipping yeah. with the containers, that was yeah. the issue with the, the theater reopens on the 25th. Uh, the film company I talked to this morning, they're starting, uh, they've already committed to Fast and Furious, the new one, we're going to run that in both theaters, yeah. this one, um, and the following week they've already booked us in on another movie, it's Boss Baby. So we're getting ready to reopen there too. Okay. Just remember, left side of the concession and toward the back, it's got to be dark. Yeah. <laughs> what are they, monthly payments? Yes. David, just to care, Ross, are you looking for a date for the reopening? <laughs> Larry, are you wanting to pay this date? I'm not going to say. Maybe. Keep recording it. More and more film companies are recording it. That's perfect. Yeah. Oh, I, know. I think we're ready to roll the problem, Miranda. Cam? It can be added when I'm finished. Morphew? Yes. Does it mean it's opened in 56? Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Luke? I appreciate it. Good, good deal. There you go. She'll get You're you all the there. paperwork and have it free sign and all that. I wish you good luck. We're sorry it took a little longer. No, it's all right, guys. I appreciate it. Um, meetings that day to kind of run. Total confidence. I'll uh, make y'all happy with it. Yes, it is. I'll let y'all get to whatever else you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Is that the largest loan we've given out right here? Is this a challenge? Because at one time when he yeah. took the 50000 originally, and at that time that we were topped out at that, I was thinking kind of. We're topped out at 100 I thought we yeah, did. Yeah, but that was originally that wasn't it? Well, Might have been. Yeah. Ross's was more than that, wasn't it? Ross, Probably. Ross's yeah. was more. What? Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know. And how yes. much was Trogdon was seventy five, wasn't it? And they paid it off early. Okay, I, I thought it originally because I knew his was fifty. These. Have we had any second? We didn't. Have anybody to call? No. Yeah. Now we had one business go under, but he sold yeah. his stuff and paid it yeah. off. Way the barbecue out. joined it. Yeah. Um, the next one is the McGann's Tiling. Uh, Heather and Clint McGann are requesting $25,000 to purchase a tiling machine. They're proposing a seven-year loan for equipment, as are in our requirements. 75% of the federal prime rate adjusted annually every January, of course. It'll be two to three jobs seasonal as well, but full-time during that time. Total projected cost is $100,000 for the equipment. The source and use of funds is the seller is financing $50,000. Community Ventures of Owensboro will finance $25,000 with the OCEDA commitment letter and uh, OCEDA, of course, $25,000 offer the purchase of this equipment. The collateral, we will take a second to the seller on a tiling machine valued at $100,000, a first on a loader backhoe valued at $34,000, and a second to Community Ventures on equipment valued at $28,500. So our uh, on the backhoe alone is enough to cover yeah. the loan, and I have a lot of faith in this uh, 
operation. He, uh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm getting out of order. There's supposed to be a motion and a second before it's I'll make a motion. Well, I'm not, I wasn't. Oh, oh, unless you guys. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead. So we got your motion and second. Hey, if you want to improve it. But, but, <laughs> but I have a lot of faith in this project. Uh, there's a lot of work for tiling machines now. Their farmers are getting money from the government to tile their fields. And uh, uh, this is a very good machine. It's the one Luttrell's had. Uh, How much can you put and uh, uh, of course, he, they sold it to Mr. Willis, and Clint's getting it from Mr. Willis. But it's that same machine, and it's still very good shape. And uh, I think it be, I think he'll do a lot of good business with it. They can find out what he can put in the four-inch water line for. There you go. He, he wants him on the phone before he bought, so. Yeah. <laughs> so tiling being in high demand, which is proven by the use of this machine already, um, as well as discussing it with uh, Darren Luttrell, who confirms that there are still a lot, uh, there's still a lot of business out there to be done. Um, the business would support our agricultural community and uh, will assist with the erosion into our waterways. Um, agriculture makes up a large part of our economy and this loan slash business supports that economic sector. So there's the positives and the negatives. If you guys have any questions about that, you can let me know. But the OCEDA board recommends this loan as a help to the agricultural sector as well as the McGeans. I, uh, I just drove through Dundee Bottoms and it looks like they need to retile them because they've got a lot of spots in there. That Actually, tile's only good for about seven years. Yeah, it's been longer than that since they The bowls and molds yeah. are your number one culprit or deep-rooted plants like this canola is deep-rooted and it'll get in them. But usually seven years is about yeah. nice. I know one thing, pretty pricey, pricey too, Kyle. Yeah, it? it is. He should be able to make this back. <coughs> I don't I don't see a problem with him being able to pay. You may need to you may like need tile your basement. I know I do today. Yeah. I heard that. Yeah, I think it's I think this was a is a good one and it's what it's what we're set up to do. You already got a motion. Second, right? Yes. Yeah, motion second. Here's my question to you real quick. And then I ended it. We we just loan up where are we at on our We got four hundred thousand dollars, a little over that. I can't remember the exact So taking out of this we're gonna have about two seventy five then left on But we don't need to worry about that chunk of money as far as how much cause well i didn't want to get down so low. low i know but i didn't want to get down so low if something came in that well I, it is I on our goals and objectives for the year to zero out the, the revolving loan fund as much as possible and that, that doesn't include the payments but obviously we have that money there to uh help small business so it's one of our goals and objectives to zero that fund out with projects that will support we just ain't growth. done it and then you yeah. have money so, coming back in too as payments come yeah as payments come, come in back in, in. Yeah, so whenever I say zero it out, that's impossible because we do have payments coming in, but you get my point. We want to loan it all out as much as possible. Okay. Roll call. Count? Yeah. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Uh, since this agenda doesn't allow for uh, any other business, I will call this uh, main adjournment. I thought we might advertise the date for David for the grand <coughs> opening. <Yeah>. <laughs>